Bridge, and you can see the little river here to our right hand side. Very cute. Okay, so let's talk about Boracay. We lived there for some time and I wanted to stay in Boracay, but Arian didn't actually like Boracay. Let's talk about the reasons what she didn't like about Boracay and why she wanted us to move back to the mainland, okay? So we moved back to mainland and from mainland uh, Manila, Metro Manila, uh, the, then we found Subic Bay. Okay, so the first thing is she found it isolating. Did you find it isolating, babe? So why did, why did you find it isolating? So far from your family, so your siblings and your mum and dad and stuff, yeah? And they're in uh, Manila, so obviously, you know, it's hard to see them. You have to fly back to, in order to see them, right? Yeah. Okay, so then the other thing is services. So the next thing, number two, would be services. Services being, uh, you know, plumbing, electricity, uh, internet, and this sort of thing. So the first thing is, I'm not sure if you're aware, but in Boracay, there are a lot, and I mean a lot, of brownouts and blackouts. Uh, we were talking to a friend of ours that owns a resort by the name of Den, and what was he saying about the blackouts, I mean? So the blackouts went for three months, you're saying, yeah? So three months, really? Yeah. Yeah. So that's from a close friend that does uh, live on the island of Boracay. He loves and swears by the island. Uh, he wouldn't move anywhere else, obviously, because it's just so bloody beautiful. Okay, so, you know, the other thing is, apart from uh, the electricity, which is a problem, and, you know, we've been in one of those brownouts before, and, and I've even experienced a blackout in um, Boracay where we had to use the backup generator uh, living on the island there. But apart from that, you know, plumbing, not so good, uh, but that's not the huge problem. The, the biggest problem for me, because, you know, I could work online doing YouTube or doing some kind of online uh, work, the biggest issue for me is the internet. Okay, I have the same issue in Manila, by the way, because you know, even in our unit in Manila, we're having problems getting internet there. We have internet, but the quality is really bad. So if you think Manila is bad for internet, think again. Boracay is even worse. Boracay being an island, obviously the internet is not very good. They use like an LTE, like satellite uh, internet uh, there, which just doesn't work very well, and it is quite expensive. All right, so the next thing is, I love driving. And I'm gonna admit this, I do like to own a car, and I like the fact that, you know, if I get bored or something like that, I can just drive somewhere new or go on a road trip to some place exciting, like we are right now. So, in uh, Boracay, no one has cars. You can't have a car, can you, honey? Uh -uh. Check out this Carabao. Hey, Carabao. We really are in the province in the Philippines now. Okay, now Boracay, being an island, being an isolated island in the Philippines, it's expensive. So the other problem we have is it is really expensive. So you have to ship goods like, you know, foods or snackies or, you know, day-to-day -day stuff for living, like shampoo or that sort of thing. Now you could have an ice cream and it costs 20 pesos in Manila, but in Boracay it would cost double, like 44 a half peso or something like that. So it was quite expensive. Also being a tourist destination, um, you know, lots of things are, are quite expensive. So what's expensive in Boracay, darling? Food. Necessities, like everything actually. You go to the supermarket, it's like double the price of what you spend in Manila. 
Yeah. So it's expensive. Like, you could buy an ice cream, and an ice cream in Manila costs 20 peso, but that same ice cream uh, might cost 44 peso on the island of Boracay. So yeah, that's one of the reasons we didn't buy Boracay, that it was expensive. Okay. So the next thing about Boracay that we found out, and we were shocked to find this out actually, is that 99% of Boracay Island is untitled. Now what that means is, if your property is untitled, there's a chance that later on after buying it, someone, a local or the government, or someone might be able to push you off your land and then you're left homeless without a home. So look, we were looking to buy a property for ourselves and settle down at the time and uh, Boracay seemed like the perfect place. You know, it's with nature, it did have services, beautiful beaches and schools and this sort of thing. But unfortunately, our dream came to an end. Rather abruptly. But look, we were very lucky that we didn't buy there because there have been instances where even famous people, Filipinos, that are bought on Boracay and they had issues. Honey, who are, what, who's one of those famous individuals that tried to bore, buy on uh, Boracay Island that had problems? One of them is Manny Pacquiao. Who? Manny Pacquiao. So Manny Pacquiao. Okay, so just tell me what happened, what, what, what you heard about what happened with Manny. So what happens is it's a bit of a scam and you know what they say is okay actually uh, you buy the property and then they try and claim it back from you because it's untitled. You don't have a legal piece of paper, a legal title declaration that says you own it. In conclusion, don't get me wrong, Boracay is an absolutely beautiful and gorgeous place and I love Boracay. Like I said, I almost moved there. But the issue for us is living there full time just wasn't going to work. And what we ended up finding was this beautiful place called Subic Bay. And Subic, we absolutely love and adore Subic. And uh, we wouldn't want to be anywhere else in the Philippines. So yeah, she loves Subic. I love Subic. And in conclusion, uh, we're much happier. We found something that we can legally own and we can have some uh, document that says that we own it. So if there's ever dispute, we can go to the courts in the Philippines, which was originally based on the US system, and uh, we can fight for our property. Whereas, you know, if we don't have that document, we have no right to it. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching. If you did like the video, please uh, like, share and subscribe. Thanks a lot. See you guys. Bye bye. Ha, ha, ha.